<laughs> I don't know what to say. We're gonna eat a lot of chocolate. That's what's happening. All these chocolates were yes, recommended by people in the comments, by the way. It's so bad. Mmm. Tastes like raisins. And then it tastes it's spicy. Yeah, this one melts faster. Girl, I want to do more chocolate cake than tomorrow. If you put your tongue on the bottom, it tastes like an olive. It melts really nicely. Oh. Grainy. You're eating a bowl of too sweet oatmeal. Mm. What we'll No, it tastes like vegetables. No, it tastes like that sourdough. Man, if my sourdough tasted like this, I would eat it over there. Tastes like nothing. It tastes like water. Yes. I would never have that again. I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of that. Listen, Grandma eats everything. <laughs> <laughs> Make room. Jeez. <sighs> what are we doing today? Your breast stinks. Jeepers. Can we... The thing, the smells that have come over her in her lifetime that I have collected up since she was a baby, I say nothing. What does it smell like? Doesn't smell like chocolate, that's for sure. Not yet, it doesn't. It's fine, just don't breathe. I'll just stop breathing, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, what are we doing today? We are tasting chocolate. And we're going to hate it. <laughs> today, we're going to test a whole bunch of different plant based chocolates and let you know which is our favorite. Or no. Least favorite. Or least favorite. Well, we're going to rank them all. And so the final score would be 100 if everyone gave it full marks. We each get 20. Like, well, yeah, because Grandma's going to join. We're having. Uh, Mother Dale, as I call her, is joining us in today's video to help rank the chocolate with us. So we have nine different to choose from. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot. Cleanse our palates in between with what? Ice cream. I don't think that's, no, you want something not sweet. So like, I think- Popcorn. I, popcorn will work, great. And water. Popcorn and water, done. Now I'm thirsty. Ewan, can I have some of your water from your water bottle? Uh, while they're doing that, yeah. I'd like to give some shout outs to some of the people who've said hello to us in the comments down below. Laura from Beverly, Massachusetts. Holly from Eugene, Oregon. Ramona from Germany. Sherry from Chico, California. Jane from Tipperary, Ireland. Karen from Blanco, Texas. Karen from New Windsor, New York. Cicero's from Austin, Texas. Jackie from Georgia. Renee and her daughter Izzy from Charlotte, North Carolina. Dorothy from Perth in Western Australia. And Margaret from Fiji. If you'd like a shout out, what do people gotta do? Pay money. Nope. I mean, not really. You can get a shout out just by saying hello in the comments down below, letting us know who you are and where you're listening in from or watching from, I should say. But if you do want to bump up in that shout out list, you can you join our- pay money. You can join our Mighty Network, which is a community of like-minded individuals. And how do you do that? You pay money. But, yeah. Join us over the Mighty Network for fun things like advanced viewings of these videos, as well as an advanced list up on the shout out thing. <gasps> Ooh, um, don't forget to unsubscribe. If you haven't already. Please unsubscribe. No, I mean. <laughs> let's eat some chocolate. But is there a special way you're supposed to do it? It's not for. Oh, I need to drink. No. Tastes like raisins. This is the Theo. Ew. Fair trade. 70% pure dark organic dark chocolate. Is it spicy? It doesn't say anything about being spicy. Do you think it's spicy? No, it tastes like. Oh, I'm not going to do. Yeah, it doesn't taste good, right? It's think? okay, but it is a seventy percent dark. Are they all seventy? They're all over the place. Uh, yeah, I'm not. That's, that, you know, that tastes like ginger a bit. I know. Tastes like, like raisins, and it tastes spicy. The ingredients are only cocoa mass, like cane sweet. sugar, and cocoa butter. It tastes like raisin, and then it tasted spicy, and then it tasted sweet. <laughs> okay, it's got a nice snap. Meh, meh snap. A meh snap. I'm gonna give it a twelve out of twenty. Hard, because the first one's tough, because you don't know where to set no, the bar. That's what I'm Actually, no. But we'll do it later. 10, 10. I know you I know what you're saying it's not really blowing my mind. No. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a 10 too. I mean i you've had other dark you've had other chocolate in your lifetime to compare it to. I'm gonna give it a 10 too, Dad. Yeah, maybe I have to start with 10 because I have nothing to compare it to. How many do you think? I don't know. I'm not good at the end. You're gonna save all of yours for the end? Yeah, because some are gonna be kind of in the middle. Like it's not that smooth. Oh. It's not a smooth chocolate. Yeah, it's... that's why I said it was creamy when it melted on my tongue, but it was brittle when I bit it. Like it wasn't like yeah. A... I don't mind that in the chocolate. But yeah, okay, I let's mean... go. Next. One. All right. Come on, yeah. Chocolate. I'm, I'm, so you want a chocolate. I'm thinking of what I give it. Well, then hurry up. I'm gonna give it a twelve. Like I don't not like it. The popcorn. You're, the popcorn is like we're supposed to be one or two in between. We're not supposed to go through bowls of popcorn on this. It's not a popcorn just, tasting you challenge. You have three in your hand right now. <gasps> this is the one ones I've had. Oh, God, homie. Can Maybe a popcorn tasting? Maybe another video. It's my favorite snack. Mm, that, was that was a good snap. That's better than the last one. 
The other one smelt sweeter. Mm. Mm, I love this it. one melts faster. It's more creamy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have had this chocolate before, so we know we like this chocolate. Yeah, but when you compare it to something else, sometimes you're like, oh, that's better. That's, and I would say this is definitely. I like this more than the last one. Yes. If I was gonna buy a 70%, I would take the lint over the Theo. It like melts all the way. The other one took a long time. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a 15. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a. If that one is a 10, then this a 16. one's 15. Yeah. I, don't know. I like that one so much. That first one, I think I had 12. You're gonna change it to a 12? Yeah. And I think this one, 15. This one, I'm gonna give like I, a 17. I really like this one. Like, this is one of my go to's if I was to buy chocolate. Are you holding out to the end for all of them? Yeah, and then I can compare and decide for sure. Oh, so be, you're gonna have a mystery mark at the end. That's fine. So no one will know the actual real score because Willie will be the deciding factor. We can add all your scores into the end. Uh, all right. The other point is Lily's extra dark chocolate style. So I didn't read the last one. Sorry. Okay. It wasn't quite as snappy as the. It's a softer snap. It's got an interesting smell. Lily's. Oh, salted. Oh, salty. All these chocolates were yes, recommended by people in the comments, by the way. I'm finding it hard to judge the actual chocolate because the salt is really overpowering. I feel like it's very I, salty. The chocolate is not sweet. It's just like and it melts dark. weird. Dark is so bad. I've had this Lily's brand before, but non um non vegan, and it wasn't the great. The cow milk, and it wasn't great. It wasn't great. No. I want to chew it now. Oh. Oh, don't chew it. It's better when you when you put it in your mouth. Mm. Oh, when you're chewing oh. it, it's so bland. Mm. Oh, this mm. Is, it mm. tastes like nothing. It tastes like water. Ugh. Two and a half. It's bitter water. Salty water. <laughs> That's salty a zero water. for me. I would never have that again. I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of that. Listen, Grandma eats everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Grandma eats everything. I'm making a three. No waste, not want, not here. A three. Oh. Okay, I gotta go through it. Chocolate is chocolate. I'll oh, say eight. A five. A five? Uh-huh. I don't like I'm giving it a zero. Wow. Well. I'll give it a one. I think every I think you have to give it at least one point. I'll give it a one. Mm, I this nice really bad. I if you like this. That's okay. I'm sorry. To the person that suggested lilies, I'm sorry. Maybe you have a different version than the one I got. Maybe you don't have sea salt. That's the only one that was on Amazon when I went to buy. So this is Choco Sol's Vanilla Sea Salt. Mm, that's pretty good. It smells like olives. It smells like, yeah, it also smells like vanilla. If you put your tongue on the bottom, it tastes like an olive. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that over my tongue. Don't do it. <laughs> I tastes like olives. It tastes like olives. It's very... Mom loves it. I normally like their just vanilla, right? We'll just get their vanilla. Yeah, we've had chocolate salt before. It's the vanilla in the sea salt that makes it taste like an olive. Yeah. This isn't mm. too good. This is okay. worse than the first when one. When you bite it, you chocolate. can taste it's too much vanilla. It's so much vanilla. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna get drunk off of it. Wait, it's like an olive. Mm. I love olives. But if, if you want chocolate... It's called vanilla sea salt though, so... It's supposed to taste like vanilla. Mm -hmm. But if you don't like that, it's okay. You can also decide not to like that. Chocolate salt is a good chocolate. I love chocolate salt. Yeah, chocolate yeah, salt is great. There's like a grittiness to it that I kind of like. Yeah, there's, it's not a smooth chocolate. There, there's other flavors that are better. I'm going to get a 10. But oh. what's interesting about their flavors is it's usually just like their base chocolate with stuff mixed into it. Mom's being biased. You should have just got everything similar. If we do a part two, we could do all chocolate salt. We could buy their entire line. We did that before. Carol wants to do more chocolate tasting tomorrow. You got your own water bottle. Oh, I do have my own water bottle. Thanks, Annie. It's, it's facing the wrong side. Turn around. Turn around. Who gave votes for this? Ten. Ten for Ephraim. I'll give it a nine. I'll give it eleven. You guys, you don't know good chocolate. Let us know down below if you want us oh, to do a chocolate salt only made like tasting. That. I don't think it's as high as the lint for me. Okay. It's a 15 for me. I think that this flavor is just not that good. I think that the other flavors are better. Other chocolate salt flavors? Fair yeah, the other flavors are good, but this one's so strong. This is by a company called Endangered Species, and it's dark chocolate with oat milk, sea salt, and almonds. It's a 55% cocoa. This is the Gorilla Chocolate. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was all right. Yeah, it's like a softer tempered. 
has an elephant on it. Yeah, because it's for I endangered. Had, I had two pieces of chocolate soul. What is yours? Have? You had two pieces of chocolate soul? I didn't want her. Mm. So we're getting lighter. Yeah, it's definitely more like a milk chocolate. Mm. I like it. I really like this one. Taste the almond. Yeah, but it's nice, it's subtle. Even like, even just sucking on it and like not eating it, you can taste the almond flavor in the chocolate. Yeah. Mmm. I'd love to know what their straight up just chocolate tastes like. It melts really it's nicely. It. It's kind of grainy though. A little bit. It's a nice chewing chocolate though too. But it's grainy. Like that Lily's one. If you suck on it, tastes like nothing when I chewed it. If you suck it's on it, then it's just so grainy. Mm. I don't mind the grains because sometimes that means it's, it dissolves. Huh? Like that's what I like about chocolate salt. What? Oh yeah. <sighs> I know what I'm gonna give this one. Okay. What? It's an 18. 18? It's really good. I'm gonna get 14. I really like 17 because the almonds taste stale. 14. Because it was grainy. Mm -hmm. Um, 16. I think it's really good. I like this one. I like this more than the Trocosol. Which I gave it 15, so I gotta give it a 16 at least. Just taking a very quick break from eating chocolate because it's important to take breaks, especially in the middle of the day. I like to take a break at least once during the day and go for a nice little walk. And when I go for that walk, I wear my favorite pair of shoes, which is my Fitbill shoes. Here's what I like about Fitbill. It is literally one of the comfiest shoes I've ever had at a fraction of the prices of most other shoe companies these days. They have a wide footed base if your foot needs that sort of attention and they come in a variety of different styles. You've got things from like tennis shoes, pickleball shoes, classic running shoes, you've got sandals, you've got golf shoes. And what's even better is that on top of the low prices that Fitful already offers, you can get a discount code right here for 25% off from your friends here at PB with J. And I think for the first 30 people that use it, you can use this discount code and get 30% off. Thank you to Fitville for keeping the PB with J family in shoe wear all year long. All right, let's go eat some more chocolate. Okay, so this is just the PC, President's Choice Dark Chocolate. We had this on the cover, so <laughs> add it to it. I used a different package for the insert of this because this one was already banged up. Snap away, Annie. Uh, not the best snap. Not the best snap? I've heard better. It's also thicker. Yeah, it's, also it's thicker. a very thick chocolate. Like this almost looks like baker's chocolate. Good smell. Kind of. Smell, smell. And this is a chocolate. This is a, a little acidic. A little acidic it, smell. It's a giant bar. Very cheap. Like this is the one it's we buy in our group. But for that size Sometimes of a bar. It's six dollars. But it, that you get the amount of chocolate in that you get from three other chocolate bars. Yeah, I like this chocolate. It melts really nicely. Oh. It's smooth, for, you know, for but rich. 70%, it's pretty smooth. Yeah. yeah. It's so creamy and it melts so nicely. Wait, wait hold on. This I'm is gonna... what we use often for melting chocolate. Mm. If we don't have our Costco chocolate chips. Those are the best chocolate in the world. Well, Willie won't let us <laughs> add that to the ranking. Because she says the ones we have in the cupboard are stale. I'll get um, 16. It melts so evenly. Yeah. yeah. I'll do 18. I, I give this an 18 one. too. Yeah, I'll give it an 18. It's so good. It's like, it's like starts better and then gets sweeter. It's crazy good for how cheap it is. The next is Hershey's. Oh, this is actually. Hershey's oat made vegan chocolate. Creamy. <laughs> What's the other version? Not creamy? Well, it sounds good. It's an okay snap. It's all right. Okay. It, it smells, smells like a malt chocolate. It smells like crap chocolate. Well, it's meant to like imitate the Hershey chocolate. Which is terrible. <laughs> Which isn't even good. Like, as soon as it hits my tongue, my tongue is not happy. I can't taste it. It tastes fake. Like, it tastes like bad it's, Easter chocolate. I'm telling you. Grandma will eat. Just leave all the bad ones. <laughs> She's going to eat them anyway. Grandma's are dumpster. No, no, I, I don't think I'll eat this one again. I it's very oaty. I think it's like oat, oat milk. milk. They say like sweet oat milk. Yeah. I mean, it's that's grainy. not. It's grainy. But it just tastes. See, oh, I knew right like, away. I put an X beside it. Mm -hmm. That said, this is better to me than the Lily one. Oh, it is. No, it is no guys, come on. <laughs> Lily didn't taste like anything. This is tasty. If you're eating a bowl of too sweet oatmeal. That's a, I'm going to give that a three. Well, put, no. Put, oh, you did. I'll right. give it a seven. Seven for Dale? Yeah. Right. I'll give it a four. Just you think said of six, right? Or something. You have some fat in 
This is another lint, and this is their vegan salted caramel. Milk chocolate. It's oat and millet based. Very quiet. But it's a milk chocolate. It's a milk chocolate, so it's not going to snap as much. How come I get the smallest piece? Oh, oh thank there's. You. That mm -hmm. smell so far? No. I like this one. It is a nice smell. It's like more treaty. I didn't realize there was millet in this. Millet? What's that? It's a grain. It's a grain. It's an ancient grain. Mm -hmm. Well, it's salted caramel, so it's going to have no. some extra stuff going on. It tastes no, like Halloween candy. No. It's not oh, like vegetables. Vegetables? Yeah. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it tastes like that sourdough. What? I Yeah, it does. Man, if my sourdough tasted like this, I would eat it every day. It does taste like that. I'm gonna give it a 12. I'm gonna give it a 10. Wow, grandma. There's one more to impress me, otherwise, yeah, my best market is a 16. I'll yeah. Do 10. 10 for you? Yeah, this is like, I'm gonna say it's like an 11. Yeah, I'm getting full. Last one. I haven't had the Cadbury one. So this is Cadbury Plant Bar made with okay. almonds, chocolatey smooth. Why does it look like you can't even snap this? This is bad. This is bad spacing out. Like what? Cadbury usually has those like round bumps. Like what is this? It, it smells like it smells like a regular Hershey's. Yeah, just kind of sweet. It's too sweet for me. It melts nicely. It doesn't even taste like chocolate. It's supposed to be like a milk chocolate. It tastes like oat. It doesn't taste like milk chocolate. It tastes like oat. Yeah. Well, here's that I haven't had milk chocolate and. Oh wow, so you guys are the better judge of that than me. Yeah, I have no chocolate. Yeah, it's good when you chew it. It just turns to mush when you chew it. I don't like that. I don't know, that's like a nine. That's like an eight for me. I'll give it an 11 because it's better than the uh, Choco Lido or whatever. Choco Solo. Choco Solo? <laughs> you think this one's better than Choco Solo? Yeah. Well, that one tastes like an olive. Okay, fine. I'll give it a 10, Mom. I'll try it with the chocolate. Oh, yeah, I'll give it a 10. I have 10, so I'm going to 10. It's okay. We'll come back in a second because I got to total up Woolies and then we'll let you know okay, how they ranked. Drum roll, please. You know I'm recording that. You mean. What, what do we guess? Three, two, one. It better be Hershey's. Lilies. 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 I feel that. That's what he said. And then you Lilies is the lowest with only 22 points. Not far after it, though, is Hershey's uh, with 27 points. Okay. Mm. There's a big jump after that. To Cadbury what? is the in seventh place. This is seven out of nine. So sixth, fifth, and fourth places are all within a couple points of each other. They're really close. So in sixth um, place with 53 is Chocosol. Woo! In fifth place is Theo. What? What? With 54 points. Only one point more. And then in fourth place is the Lint Vegan. Is the uh, milk chocolate like the light chocolate vegan? In third place, with like 22 more points, we make a huge leap up after here in points. In 78 points is the lint 70% in third place. Mm -hmm. In second place, with 79 points, is the endangered species. Yeah, no, yeah that was good. good. Ooh, where is and, it? First and in first place, place with, with, with 87 <laughs> points, significantly higher Let's than second see. place, is PC's President's Choice. Wow. Canada. Which is like a very low price chocolate. So yeah. sorry, we like our own Canadian chocolate, cheap chocolate better. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and no. Don't and forget to unsubscribe. Don't, 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 don't Dale's wrapping videos. it up. So I guess while Dale wraps it up and <laughs> closes up the table, check out this, this video next. Don't do it. Oh, oh. It's a wrap. It's a scam. It's not a scam, it's a video. Don't subscribe, subscribe up here. Don't be Bye!